G'day guys, today I'm going to do a bit of a rundown on the old rangey here. So follow along as I go through all the bits and pieces. So in the back here I've just got some custom homemade drawers. This side I keep all my tools, um, any bits and pieces, spares I might need, sprays, all that sort of stuff. This side I have out all my cooking gear, um, any little bits and pieces of easier food to get to, a couple of tin spaghetti, fire lighters, jet boil, all that sort of stuff. Got me 30 litre brass monkey fridge, uh, tool pro tool kit on top of there as well. I also have a Stanley socket set, bunch of screwdrivers and just bits and pieces. If you want to run through all that, let us know. Uh, in the side here, I've got a King's compressor for pumping up my tyres because they like to go flat. Uh, I've got a 100 amp hour lithium battery. I've got a 1500 watt uh, inverter in there as well. Uh, what else? Lots and lots of junk as you can see. We ride motorbikes as well, so I've got to carry all my panniers, all my motorbike gear in here, here as well. In this side here, I've got my clothes bag, I saw my ladder here. Uh, I've got another little Tool Pro miniature rattle guns and drills and all that in there. Uh, under this side is where I keep most of my motorbike gear, jacket, pants, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I've got a bucket in there too that I use for washing the car. I just sort of dodgy these up in a hurry so they're nothing special. I probably need to fix them up and put some gas rams on here. Uh, up in here I've got cargo nets, you probably can't see them. Those. Got the nightcap backpack up on there. I got another little mini cargo net across here that I keep my hats on uh, and also my fully gripped fanners. Uh, solar panel there, laptop behind the seat, recovery gears also in there, and I can't forget my Aldi woolly crocs as well. Full of prickles. Got a spare chair up under there. Lots of other bits and pieces up under there as well. Driver's side, nothing real special. Got a couple of orders waiting to be sent later on today. Grab handles. I've uh, got a Warrior 4x4 vision mirror. Um, so that's also a dash cam. You can use it as a re reverse cam, all that sort of stuff. Yes, I do have two different coloured sun visors. That's to annoy people. Got a GME XRS UHF. Just a crappy stereo off Timu. I've got to take that out though because it makes buzzing noises. really annoying. And yeah, that's pretty much inside. I've got another cargo net across there, which I like to put stuff in. Unit and UHFs in there. And of course Gilbert. On the front here, I've just got Steady Sport Spotlights. Um, and i just got cheapy eBay halo headlights on it with RGBs. The old style Dyna Pros on the 33. I've got a Bushwhacker 180 degree awning. Uh, and a few of you have asked what my rooftop tent is. It's just a Chinese cheap brand Extreme Light. They don't actually sell them anymore uh, because the importer passed away, unfortunately. So RIP to him. Uh, around in the passenger side here is a bit of a mess at the moment. It's the joys of living out of your car. Uh, I've got some mail left over, two pairs of boots, my essential oil kit, keep alive stuff. I've got my grab handles in the Drifter sleeping bag bags. I use water bags for everything. They're like 10 bucks off eBay and I find them a lot more usable. Got the Chevron dash mat, little Mr. Ducky. I have my 6 foot aerials in here at the moment just because... I don't really like driving around with them on all the time. My banners go up in there. This little peg basket is what I put my key rings in at the market. Under here is where I put all my paracord. So if you didn't know, this is my source of income at the moment until I become a really famous YouTuber. Drifter bin bag and some Max Tracks. Uh, I've actually never used the Max Tracks. And the drifted bin bag, I'm not completely stoked with it because it is, as you can see, actually falling apart. These clips have broken everywhere on it and this was happening from three to six months old. 
So the rest of the bag's good, but just those yeah bits and pieces just make it a bit average in my opinion. Strapped off the back here, I've got my night cat hammock. So this is an all-weather hammock. I've had it in yeah, some pretty heavy rain, some pretty nasty winds, about 100k an hour winds. Got my little Olight diffuse torch hanging off there. I made up some glow-in-the-dark paracord zip pulls for it as well. King's compressor, as mentioned earlier. Air hose. Don't hate me on how my wiring set up. I did this all in a complete rush and I haven't had a chance to fix it up. JBL. So all my cooking gear. Just using a little cheapy stove, some plates. Jet boil in there. Uh, in this plastic container, I've got some knives, forks, uh, clip lock bags, chop board down the side here. I've got the King's Dominator winch as well in the front here. Just pop the bonnet, it is very, very dirty under here. Uh, I still haven't got around to colour matching my rocker covers and radiator. They're still back to the old purple. But other than that, the engine bay is pretty much stock standard. Only upgrade I've really done is put a snorkel on. Yes, that's a bit dodgy as well. We do everything in a hurry and then we don't sort of get around to going back to fix it up. <laughs> if there's anything else you'd like to know about the old girl or anything else, please drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.